In this video, you will learn about how to configure an 1830 PSS to support service enablement with the Centralized License Manager, or CLM for short. In this use case, we will configure an S13X100E 10x10 GigMux Ponder card with line-side encryption. The CLM simplifies network function license management. Using the CLM, you can flexibly control license entitlement and monitor license usage for your managed network functions. CLM requires a network pool key to establish entitlement grants from the NE requests in provisioning Lightpath services. Nokia will send you the network pool key by email. Enter your login credentials and click Login to launch the 1830 PSS User Guide. Establish a service facility by creating an optical channel cross-connect for the OTN-OCH connection. Complete the service by creating a wavelength for the coherent transponder by ensuring the connection is established at both A end and Z end. Ensure a valid frequency is selected and the OCH trail name is defined for the cross-connect. Finally, confirm the cross-connect is visible via the connections. Show active alarms by selecting the alarms. A separate pop-up window appears. Given the license-restricted hardware is installed in the NE, a visible alarm license CLM not config will be shown. To remove this standing alarm, go to the administration tab and select license management to access the license manager to configure the attributes. A valid IP address is the minimum entry that must be provisioned. Enter your login credentials and click sign in. Click on the Centralized License Manager icon to launch the CLM application. Nokia emails you a network pool key, which is a zip archive file. Save the network pool key file to your local system. In the CLM application, click Add Pool Key. Choose the file that you previously saved and click on Upload. A message appears confirming the upload was successful, and a network pool key tile appears as a visual representation. Click on a network pool key tile to view the list of entitlements. Go to the Alarms screen in the web UI to confirm active alarms are no longer present by reviewing all tabs of the alarm screen. Go back to the Administration drop-down menu in the web UI and go to the License Management and select License Entitlements. You will see the number of entitlements being requested by the NE for each license type. In the CLM application, the allocated entitlements for the 100 gig long haul open light path services show that one of the five entitlements has been used. Therefore, there are four available to be allocated to other services. Similarly, the Open Light Path services with encryption also indicates that one of the five entitlements have been used. There are four entitlements available to be allocated to other services. The enablement of on demand Light Path services is automated with Nokia's license solution. The CLM uses network pool keys to provide tailored, value added services to our customers. Both lifetime and subscription licenses are available, allowing Nokia to participate in your revenue generation by facilitating and minimizing the upfront impact to your business. Please review the links on OLCS to retrieve the latest documentation on ION 1830 PSS licensing using CLM. Please follow our optical channel on YouTube and thank you for your subscribes, for your likes and your comments.